All right, investment in retirement. Uh, so now we talked about the economy, we talked about the markets. Um, you know, volatility is normal. You've seen this chart before. Basically, this chart is showing the S&P 500 intra-year declines versus the calendar year return. So if you're looking at the chart, the red numbers on the low side of zero are basically telling you how far did that market go down in any given year. And then the gray bars on the top of the zero line, and there are some on the below, uh, are where the economy actually ended up. And you can see that the majority of the time, even though the market's down intra-year, it jumps up by the end of the year. So this is the reason you've got to stay engaged in the market. I hear people say, is it time to get out? Well, only if you wanna lose money. Uh, because the minute you take it out of the market, now you got a time getting back in the market. And odds are you're going to lose on that. So stay focused, stay engaged, allow us and our money managers to make the adjustments necessary and take advantage of these opportunity and the downturns that you're seeing. Because like I said earlier, great time right now for Roth conversions or adding money into the market. This is another way to look at the, the, the historical data. Um, this chart shows specific downturns in the market, specific downturn periods, how many months it was down, what the loss was, and then how many months of recovery there were within that uh, cycle. And again, you can see that most of them, the returns are relatively quick. So this is why we say you cannot time the market. It's not timing the markets, it's time in the market. And the, the people who stay the course are the people who get the returns they're looking for. Now, when you look at it historically as an average, all 16 downturns here, your average loss was 27.5. Well, that's more than a healthy correction, but the average recovery period is almost 23 months. You remove the largest and the shortest, and the average loss goes down to 24.5 and a 15-month recovery. The key here is, do we have the money set aside to weigh through the downside of the market? Do we have alternative places, alternative sources to, to go to when the market is down? Because what we keep telling our clients is that when you have a downturn in the market and you're pulling money out for retirement, all you're doing is accelerating that loss. So if you have another bucket of money that doesn't go down turn during a market correction, you're gonna be in much better shape moving forward. That's why we talk, and Rocky's really big on this, and he's done a great job of illustrating out the bucket system here, and that is when you're investing in retirement, if you're not taking any money, you probably don't need a whole lot of money off to the side in more cash or conservative. But if you are drawing significant amounts out, you should have more in those buckets because those buckets, they, they represent checking, savings, money markets, CDs, tactical fixed income, and yes, cash value life insurance, which really acts as a bond alternative but tax-free. So it makes a great, great piece of uh, the uh, good tool in our toolbox when it comes to the conservative box there. But this will allow you to ride through any kind of, any kind of recessions that might come about. The second bucket, growth and income. This one's gonna be more aggressive and you're gonna uh, allow this one to grow to be able to refill your conservative bucket when the market capitulates, comes back up, and you're back on track again. And then the third bucket is your growth bucket. Now this is a great place for Roth money, any kind of tax-free money, because you want that to grow the fastest.